Smartsheet has a lot of features built within the sheet that can help you organize your work into logical categories and sections. One specific tool that's powerful is the hierarchy structure. It allows you to indent various tasks or items below each other. One really powerful part of it, though, is that you can use functions within formulas to actually extract information on those and therefore set up a sheet that can be really powerful at seeing what's above or below. Today, I will go over three different functions that help you understand how to use hierarchies. So here on my sheet, I have a grandparent, parent, and child. So it's easy to keep straight when you're looking at the hierarchy. And each of these are different formulas I'm using to extract that information out. So right here, I'm talking about what type of formula I'm using. I'm using the child function, parent function, and ancestor function today. Those are three different types of functions that can allow you to look across your hierarchy structure. So let's first look at the index children formula. Right here I have it. So I'm taking advantage of a function I've talked about before, the index. It's able to look across a list, and in this case, I want it to just go down to the first one. So when I grab children like this, I actually serve the index a list, just like I would if I was looking across a column. And then in this case, I'm just saying go to the first one. This can be helpful. However, I will warn that a lot of times you don't necessarily know which child you're going to want to pick when it comes to creating a uh, index over children. So just be aware that this one may not be the one you want to leverage too often. It's better to usually use with columns themselves or that subset of data that you have isolated. Now, this is a more common use case that we do with children. I do the join children here, which allows me to basically see a string of every child below. In this case, I have the child one and child two. You'll notice, you'll notice that it just concatenates them together. And I think that's pretty ugly. So what I would do is I would at least do like a char 10, which basically creates a new line. So now if I were to wrap it, you'll see those have their own specific line. And that can really be helpful when you're trying to make it easier to read for the user. So these are two ways to look down at the items below and basically grab information from your hierarchy structure. We do a lot of times where we count or sum information from the child. I think this can be a little bit different than when you work in Excel, where a lot of times Excel is built to have the result at the bottom and Smartsheet we design a lot of our uh, formulas to be actually at the top. So that way you could expand and see more depth into what you're calculating. It depends on what you're trying to set up. So using the parent-child relationship will help you build a more dynamic structure in Smartsheet. So now let's talk about the parent function. So the parent function takes just the next parent above it. All it does is it looks right above where it is and grabs that. So. I literally have this as the parent item. So my formula is parent. I am looking at the specific column. So I'm basically saying, hey, look at this cell and look at the parent above it. In this case, it's going to give me the word parent. So the next one, let's talk about ancestors. Ancestors can be really helpful as well. It basically grabs all parents above, like literally just like ancestors in real life. It's able to grab every single parent that is above it. Join is usually the most powerful one with this because again, you're not, when you're writing these formulas, you're not necessarily knowing exactly what is going to be above it when you're setting this up, but you want these to be able to scale these formulas. So it's important that you build it in a way that would take advantage of the scaling factors. In this case, I've done a join just like before and join the ancestors. In this case, maybe it will be nice to say char 10. And now you can see it split again. So a couple practical ways we leverage this. When we're building a very large project plan or a deep sheet of tasks and so forth, sometimes we'll use ancestors to basically give a tag to any item below. So if you're then bringing that row to another sheet, you could say, oh, this is related to this, this, and this category. 
And it's not necessarily that you're always having just show it to those parents, but you're actually using a contains to pull that information out. You're basically wanting to extract, hey, is it related to that tag? When you're using ancestors like that, or children for that matter, you can basically create an auto tagging system that your hierarchy is allowing you to make sure you show which category without you having to tag every single one manually yourself. I hope this was helpful. If you have more questions on hierarchy, please write in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.